Welcome back to Living Local. The Quad City Music Guild is celebrating it is its 74th season, and for their next production, they're bringing something new to their Moline stage, an outrageous crowd-pleasing farce called Something Rotten. And join us in studio to talk all about that are three of the cast members, Joseph Lasher, Alex Reiser, and Ben Holmes are all here. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on in. Thank you. Thank Holmes. you for having us. All right. Yeah, so, yeah. Joseph, I'm going to start with you. So we mentioned something new, the title of your musical. It's, it's new to our area, so people probably who are going to come see it may be not familiar. Why don't you walk us through what it's about? Yeah, so uh, Something Rotten takes place in the Renaissance period during the height of William Shakespeare's popularity, you know. So he is actually a character in the show. Okay. Uh, so the plot basically follows these two brothers, Nick and Nigel Bottom, who are also writers, and their struggles in breaking through to the public eye while Shakespeare has been taking everyone's Uber attention. successful and yes. everything. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So who do you all play then? Uh, well, I play Nigel Bottom. Okay. The uh, younger brother to Nick Bottom. Sitting That's me. I play brother. Nick Bottom. Yes. Okay, Alex. Are <laughs> and then yeah, and then uh, You're also in it. Yeah. So when <laughs> Nick is on his last penny and he finds out he's also going to be having a child, he really needs to get some answers and beat Shakespeare. So he comes to me. I'm a back alley soothsayer named Nostradamus. Okay. But not the Nostradamus. Yeah. His nephew Thomas. <laughs> and so I and so I predict the future, and I tell him that these things called musicals are going to be the next big hit. Okay, we get it. All right. Okay. So Ben, um, we mentioned this is going to be outrageous and all stuff. Is it is it something outrageous you can bring your kids to, or is this like adult comedy outrageous? It is PG thirteen. Okay. okay. So you take do, how you yeah. do a little bit of research before you go, but I would say that. It's, it's reasonable for a dip, typical PG-13 audience. I wouldn't bring your youngest kids, right. but there is some, um, s a little bit of swearing, not too much, maybe a little bit of innuendo, but nothing crazy. It's more of just a fun, kind of raucous. Um, and it is well-written comedy. Yes, yes. Yeah. It doesn't go for the cheap line. Okay, yeah. okay, all right. It's, it, you know, there is some... There's some stuff. This is not yeah. just some, you know, easy, low-hanging fruit slapstick type of yes. thing all the time. Yes. Yeah, but there is that, right? too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you know, you have your moments, because who doesn't love some low-hanging plastic? You need that, plastic. too. Okay. All right. All right. So, Joseph, let's talk about our favorite parts of this show okay. now. Uh, so, what's really special about this show is it is very uh, self-aware, and ver it makes a lot of references to several musicals. I can't even count how okay. many different references there are throughout the show. So, you know, if you are a fan of musicals or theater in general, Shakespeare, if you're a fan of Shakespeare, uh, this will definitely be the show for you because, you know, the whole time you'll just be able to pick out all the different Easter references. Easter eggs and, yeah. and things like that Absolutely. mixed in. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. Now, Alex, if people want to come see this, they want to come see something rotten, when is it going to be showing? How do people get tickets? What's the info on that? So, uh, Something Rotten is playing this weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Uh, on Friday and Saturday, it's going to be 7.30, and then Sunday, it's going to be a matinee at 2. Okay. Um, and then the following weekend, uh, it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, I believe that is the... Um, <laughs> numbers. I was going to say, I don't know. I don't remember the <laughs> dates either. It's the 16th through the 19th. It is. Next yes, weekend. 16th is the yeah. Thursday. Um, yeah. And uh, then it's 7.30 on the weeknights and then Sunday matinee. Okay, gotcha. Well. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Now, if people want to get tickets, where do they do that at? Um, QCMusicGuild.com. Okay. Uh, it'll walk you right through everything. Our box office uh, it is also at Quad City Music Guild. You can see the hours on the website. Okay. Um, but, the, you know, you can do it in person, uh, before the show, um, ahead of time. Uh, and you can also do walk-up as long as, you know, if you want to gamble. Yeah, if you, um, you know. And, but you can do it online, which we okay. definitely encourage. Okay, options there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And so coming up this weekend and next weekend. Now, Alex, if people want to get involved more broadly speaking in the QC Music Guild, how could they do that? This is the cool part. This is uh, every, all of the actors, all of us are volunteers. Quad City Music Guild is a volunteer-based theater. Um, and we, uh, and most of us get, just get out there and get involved. Uh, so on the website, they even have different categories for do you want to be backstage, do you want to audition, do you want to do um, outside activities, front of house things, 
All right. It's all available. Awesome. Yeah, for future production. Future production. All right. This one called Something Rotten, though. It's going to be showing uh, this weekend and next. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming in today and talking to us about it. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Much. All right. To order tickets or learn more about the Quad City Music Guild, like Alex mentioned, qcmusicguild.com is the website. We'll also have those details posted on our website, which is ourquadcities.com.